Hi there. So it is Wednesday night, um, December, uh, I don't know, 11th. Yes, because Friday is Friday the 13th this week. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm just kind of reflecting. Uh, this morning started off as really bad. Um, just getting really severe cramping and so that my period was coming on, which um, was really disappointing, but actually uh, there's no signs of that. So um, trying to do more research online and uh, was only really able to find people talking about their experiences where I think what I am was looking for was to know what's going on <laughs> in my body. So um, the two week wait is kind of what this period is called and it's really hard for everyone with uh, IVF and IUI or infertility because um, unlike a natural pregnancy where you don't really know uh, what's happening, you know. <laughs> and every hour and every day you're kind of thinking about it and um, all of the hard work that you've done has really led to this point and two weeks is a really long time to wait um, to know if, you know, you were successful and your dreams will come true. So, especially after the long process and all the stress that you're put through and the emotional roller coaster. So, um, but yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I read a quote today I, that I really needed. It said something like, um, you're discouraged and disappointed, but you've made it this far. And I think that's really brave and uh, makes me <laughs> almost cry even when I think about it because um, I have made it really far. And uh, I was just looking back at kind of the paperwork and um, I guess uh, the nice thing is that this cycle has gone exactly the way our doctor um, described it to us. So no uh, hiccups along the way. Um, you know, got, uh, he kind of predicted, um, average would be like 10 to 12 follicles, and that's how many I got, and even what they show in the charts, um, for, you know, kind of the drop off, that, you know, not all the eggs will continue to grow, um, that we probably only have a hand, you know, a couple, uh, remaining that would go all the way to blastocyst, blastocyst stage and that's exactly what we had so um so that just keeps me really hopeful um you know knowing that either way um I find out in a couple of days but either way um this was really positive and uh and I think we would definitely try again how soon that happens I'm not sure if we would just take a month off or uh if I would need longer, so that's yet to be decided, but um, if we're not pregnant, I would have a lot of questions for our doctor, um, I'd want to understand how he viewed my cycle, I guess, and what his, um, what his options were going forward, and, you know, maybe why he thought I didn't get pregnant, um, I would be really discouraged that never been pregnant, never seen a positive sign, never had a miscarriage even, not that I'm wishing that, but, you know, never even been pregnant, so, kind of seemed like this impossible dream, so, uh, yeah, but I've been reading kind of, uh, YouTube videos on other people's experiences, and I do feel really lucky because there's other experiences out there where, uh, women have gotten pregnant, but have had ectopic pregnancies, which means that the baby is developing in the fallopian tubes, which is life-threatening. Um, and one one lady even had uh, had the pregnancy go so far just because they couldn't see it and kept trying to flush it out that um, they saw the heartbeat and saw the baby and then had to do surgery to remove it, so... 
I feel really lucky so far that um, that's not our situation and things have gone smoothly through this process and I hope hope that continues so um but yeah I guess you know just thinking back on this journey um I think everything has fallen in line you know from financials to uh just the timing and all my friends and family kind of supporting me so so that's been really good um yeah, I guess I'm, you know, just trying to last these, l <laughs> these difficult next few days, um, kind of prepare myself for the good news or the bad news. I have to do that just to, uh, keep my sanity and stay strong, so it's really hard. You know, you want to be joyous and excited and, um yet it's never happened <laughs> and so it's kind of like why would at this time um what's different you know though there is a lot of different um obviously but it just yeah seems far-fetched so so we will see um yeah i guess that's it for now okay good night